Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Naomi and I'm going to go over the five fashion trends that are currently trending that I will not be partaking in. Now this list will serve as a guideline which will aid me in figuring out the type of consumer I want to be as well as show you guys some of the things that are currently trending that I will not be partaking in. So let's jump right into the video. Now the first thing on the list is going to be a little controversial, but I don't care. Designer costume jewelry is just a waste of money in my opinion. The amount of money that you pay for designer jewelry is absurd. And it's not even real. It's not even gold. It's not even silver. It's not even platinum. You're literally paying hundreds of dollars just for the name. And in my opinion, that is not a good investment. I would prefer to use that money and invest it into actual gold. Whatever metals that you are fascinated with. For me, I'm a gold girl. So I love gold jewelry. So that is the reason why going forward in 2024, I'll only be investing in real jewelry that will not only pull its value but also go up in prices as the years go by so that's my first take currently all the girlies like every tiktoker instagrammer youtuber all the big names they love the chanel earrings the dior earrings all the designer jewelry on the market is literally being advertised or forced or shown to you but they're not real they're costume jewelry the last time we went into dior and i saw a beautiful piece i'm telling you gorgeous they are pretty i myself is attracted to the glitz and the glam at times we tried on a pair of the most beautiful pair of dior earrings and they were 700 dollars. and the first thing melissa asked was is it real gold and i laughed because uh, the sales associate was like yeah no they're actually costume jewelry and i knew she was not gonna go for that so that even drove home to me that this is just not something that i'm going to use my hard earned money or her hard earned money and buy Next on our list is going to be designer platform loafers. They're so ugly, but I cannot. They're so bulky and ugly and chunky. Like, I know it's the thing now. I know Gucci has one. All the fashion houses have one, but the one that I really, like, hate is the Versace one. It's chunky, bulky. I really feel like the, these designer houses literally just try something and because they are saying that that's the thing of the season like this is what we should be wearing everyone is literally just consuming it and they're grotesque they're so ugly and honestly i don't feel like this is something that's gonna last in your closet it's just a fad it's the it girl shoes of the season and i just cannot understand why why would you want that much weight and bulk on your feet it makes it it looks like clown shoes in my opinion i guess you can stop on these which is next if you're not wearing platform movers but yeah it's an over me it's it's just an over me third on our list is going to be designer replicas you guys when i tell you that tiktok has dh8 talk like it's called dh8 designer replicas and do not even dupes designer replica talk there are vendors that sells replicas of designer goods and that's an entire market like there is a complete consumer base a, a large consumer base that literally only gravitate to designer replicas in my opinion i feel like one of the reasons why i i'm i'm trying to get into not trying i'm getting into this um luxury goods or designer goods game is because i feel like if i'm going to spend some money on something i want to know that if anything should happen if i'm no longer feeling that look anymore or i've grown out of a particular piece i can actually sell it and get my money back get some money back because the whole point of it it's an investment it's something that would either hold its value or gain value replicas to me it's 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 slightly weird i don't know and there has been some replica vendors hitting me up in my emails and my dms asking me if i want to promote with them or join a dh gate um an ambassadorship or become a dh gate girly and i just can't get with it i know there's a lot of money in it but i don't want to buy something fake and then pawn it off as the real thing i don't know it's the principle behind it i just can't get with i don't know why i would buy something fake to then say it it's real like i guess that's a conversation i have to have with somebody who actually partakes in buying luxury fakes or replicas like what's the actual end game or what's the reason behind it are you buying it because it's cheaper 
and then you can say it's the real thing or it looks like the real thing or you just don't care you just like how it looks and you're gonna get it i don't know that's just not my thing i can't do it if i can't afford the real thing it's not for me and if i really do want it it just means that this is something that i need to make space for and save towards so i can get it so it can actually stand the test of time and i know that there are some great fakes and replicas out on the market but I'm just not that type of girl, you know? Fourth on our list is going to be the pantsless trend. Where are your clothes? Why are you walking outside in just underwear? Like, where are you walking outside with shorts that literally looks like panties? Then again, maybe I just don't want to expose myself like that. Maybe I'm just on a different journey. I'm on a journey of just dressing a little bit more modestly and just paying more attention to how I'm perceived and how I want to feel in my clothes and I guess if you are comfortable in wearing that and it, it, it just looks ridiculous to me it looks ridiculous to me it looks like you cut off a pair of pants shorts leggings and decided to wear an underwear version of that outside and then all the fashion girlies are doing it. the Kendall Jenner the Sophia Richie all the, eight, the so called eight girls are wearing literally panties outside it's not cute to me it's not timeless it's not gonna age well it's just not it's just not for me like my wife was trying to understand like where i'm going with this like what's my thought process behind it i guess if you're going to a slumber party or if you're going to a pool party but not even a pool party because they don't look like cut off shorts it's not giving booty shorts it's not giving daisy dukes it's giving underwear it's giving Designer underwear, they slapped a designer label on some underwears, made it in different fabrics, and called it pants. Or whatever they're calling it. It's a little tacky. The next one is not necessarily a trend. It's more so of a designer. Like a designer that I feel like I will never buy. Like I will never buy anything Bottega. And I guess you can say never say never. But I just feel like Bottega Veneta is so easily found. Like a dupe of it, not necessarily a replica, but a dupe of anything Bottega Veneta can be found in TJ Maxx, Target, High Street brand or store. You can find a really good dupe of Bottega Veneta. And I feel like if I'm going to spend or invest my money in Bottega Veneta, which I won't, it, it, it doesn't look like anything that's worth an investment when you can just go to a TJ Maxx, a Marshall, a Burlington and get something that looks close to it and probably looks similar, looks the same. It doesn't give me unique. It doesn't give me a piece. It doesn't give me something that, okay, I'm going to put my money in this because this is going to, it sets apart or stands apart from anything else that I can find elsewhere or in my closet. So, Bottega Veneta bags, Bottega Veneta purses, and I feel like it's mostly Bottega Veneta bags that I'm not into. If I should ever be asked the question, what? luxury designer house like their bags i would never invest in i would never buy and straight up without even thinking without even a second thought it would be Bottega Veneta. that really was a quick video and i really do hope that you enjoyed it tell me in the comments what are your fashion trends you will not be partaking in this year i would love to know i know i only gave you five but if you're interested in more let me know in the comments i would be happy to film another video for you guys again i really do hope that you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications so you do not miss whenever i post another video and as always until next time bye i want you to stay before you go i want you to know that i want you to stay